Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, we discussed what is Docker and how it solves the software development problems. In this video, we will install and build our first Docker container. Watch this video till the end for some important tips and tricks about Docker, especially for beginners. So let's begin. Quickly talking about the agenda, we will discuss about Docker installation, validate Docker installation, few tips and tricks, and we will build our first Hello World Docker container. So let's quickly start with Docker installation. In order to install Docker, go to your browser and search for install Docker Windows. So if you go to the first link that we get from docker.com, it will look like this where it shows install docker desktop on windows machine if you are using mac then you can go to this mac on the left hand side and go to the first option install docker desktop for mac but as i said in this video we are going to follow the tutorial with windows machine so now if you go to this download from docker hub link this shows the docker which you can download for your windows machine but before we are going to download this, there are a couple of system requirements that we have to fulfill. And this is a kind of prerequisite. So the first thing that it needs is Windows 10 64 bit. So make sure that the machine that you are using having Windows 10 and 64 bit. Otherwise, your Docker installation might not work as expected. Second thing which is needed is Hyper-V, which is hypervisor and the container Windows features must be enabled. So in order to verify the first thing, Windows 10, go to your computer and right click and go to the property which will show the details of your Windows machine. Now in order to verify your container and Windows features enabled or not, go to your task manager and under performance you will see this virtualization tag which will be enabled for most of the system by default if it is not then make it enable and then come back to this website so since we have this prerequisite is completely taken care of then we'll go to this website now in order to download docker i will recommend you to first sign up to this particular website and create your docker id so if you do not have docker id yet then you can go to this page after click on this sign up and then your docker id will be created and then you can come along to the sign in page and enter the docker id which you have generated so i will click with my docker id details now since i'm signed in so this is the link it shows for docker hub download now if you go to this get started with docker desktop that it will show you to download the docker desktop for windows and on click of this it will immediately download the installation for docker since i already have it i'm going to cancel this download but you can just install install this docker.ext file so once we are done with that then on this place you will get this container logo which is nothing but a docker logo which says that your docker desktop is running and on click of that it will show you these couple of options like docker hub documentation troubleshoot about docker desktop and sign in so i will recommend you to sign in to this particular section with the docker id which you have just created so i'll give my details here and sign in once i'm done with that once again if i go to this docker desktop now this should load my docker id okay now since we have successfully installed docker and login with my docker id the next step that we are going to do is we are going to use powershell in order to run docker command so the first thing that we are going to see the version of docker so type docker hyphen v it will give you the version which is installed in your machine once it is done then if you run docker images this command is actually to find out if there is any images available in my local docker or not since there is no images available it's not showing anything 
So let's run our first image. So in order to run any image, the command is docker run and the image name. So I want to run the image for docker hello world. So the image name is docker hyphen hello world. If I run this, so the first line that I will get is unable to find image hello world locally, which means that this image is not available in my local Docker and this Docker is going to pull that particular image from Docker Hub. This is because when we have uh, installed our Docker, we signed in with our Docker ID. So with that, it is connected to Docker Hub and it's going to pull the image which is not available in our local and it's there in Docker Hub. So now it says latest pulling from library hello world which is from Docker Hub and then it says hello from Docker. So this is something which is uh, there uh, in the Docker hello world image and it's already configured over there. Now if I go to this command and type docker space images. So it says there is now one image available in my local and this is the image ID. Now when we have when we ran this particular image so docker container was created. So what is container? Docker container is the running instance of an image. When we are running an image, then Docker will create a container and it will run that particular image into that container. So now in order to see the container which is running, there is a command as docker ps minus a. So it will list down all the containers that we have. So if you notice the first container, it says image is hello world and there is a container id assigned and it's created about a minute ago so this is the same container which we ran here using docker run hello world ignore the couple of more container which i ran earlier but the first one is something which we have just created so we have a running container now in our local docker now if you go to this PowerShell again and type docker ps my space hyphen aq again it will load the containers with their container id so if you just want to see the containers which are actually running without not any additional detail you can just use this command another thing if you want to remove the existing images then suppose if uh, i do that docker images so it says the image which is running now is hello world and this is my image id in order to remove the this particular docker image type docker image rm which is to remove and then i will copy this image id and hyphen f is to remove this image forcefully since this image is already running so i have to do this forcefully now if i go back and run docker image again there is no image right now so i have basically removed the image which was running in my local okay now if i go to this and type docker ps minus a so this says still the container is running so we have removed the image but the container is still there and it's in the running state so with that we have completed the docker installation validated the docker installation and created and built our first docker container and these are few basic docker command which we use docker hyphen v docker run image id docker image rm for remove and then docker ps minus a and aq now for especially for beginners i have just consolidated few quick tips if you want to see the docker history use docker history command if you want to see the logs to, for a particular container we can use docker logs command if you want to rename a particular container you can use docker rename similarly docker search to search a particular image in the docker hub 
and docker stat to display the live streaming of our container statistics so with that we have completed and in our next video we will talk about how we can run our java program using docker how we can run our spring boot project using docker so thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more java tutorial videos